So in this video we need to show you a trick that uh, you sometimes may need to pull here. We've got the equation 2 sine squared of x plus 3 cosine x minus 3 equals 0. And it would be really convenient to maybe factor this thing if I had the same trig function showing up everywhere. Unfortunately, I've got a sine squared term and I've got a cosine term. So I want to pull a trick and it's an identity trick. I remember from our work previously that I can write sine squared of u, some input, whether it's u or x or theta, as 1 minus cosine squared of u. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace sine squared of x with 1 minus cosine of x, squared of x. And you know, I'll keep every other term the same. But the advantage of doing this is that now I only have one trig function, cosine of x, showing up anywhere in my work. Now, the, to get this in the form where I can work with it, I do need to do some simplifying. I need to think of, you know, distributing my 2 here. So I've got 2 minus 2 cosine squared of x. And then I've still got my plus 3 cosine of x minus my 3. And that equals 0. If I were to simplify some like terms here, 2 minus 3, uh, I could say I've got negative 2 cosine squared x and plus 3 cosine of x. And 2 minus 3 is a negative 1. In fact, in algebra class, when we had something squared, something, and a number, it often helped to have the something squared term positive. So if I think of multiplying each side by negative 1, I could simply change the sign of each term. So how about positive 2 cosine squared x minus 3 cosine x plus 1. Now, whether you actually go through with writing this step out or looking for it, here I want you to think of, so think of letting some variable u be cosine of x. Because if I were to do that, I could rewrite this as 2, you know, cosine of x is u, this would be u squared. 2u squared minus 3 times cosine of x, that's u, plus 1 equals 0. And I believe I know how to solve an equation like this. I can factor the trinomial. Uh, my first terms in the binomials would need to be 2u into u. And I think uh, negative 1 in both places works. So negative u minus 2u is negative 3u. Yeah, that works out. So I could actually tell you what u has to be. Uh, either u is a half from this here, or u is 1. Now, I don't want to know what values of u work here. I want to know what values of x work. So I'm going to have to take this and substitute back. Instead of u being a half, I want cosine of x is a half. Or not u, but cosine of x is 1. And now you've got that position where you can solve either of these equations. So uh, on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, cosine is a half when x is, let's see, I think pi over 3 works there. And I think 5 pi over 3 works. And if I solve this equation here, uh, I think there's only one value I'm looking for where between 0 and 2 pi, not including 2 pi, where x, where the cosine is 1, I believe that's 0. 
So in reality, my best answer is to give a set where I list all of those values. So I'll use 0, and then I'll use pi over 3, and I'll use 5 pi over 3. And there we go. There's uh, my set solution set that solves that equation.